Today, we're going to learn about extrema and end behavior. How do you read graphs and what do the trends mean? Let's first graph a function. This graph, of course, is the function f of x. And if we were to label the plots, let's say this is 2, this is 2, this is negative 2, and this is also negative 2. Based on this, we know that anything above the x-axis is going to be positive. So we can see that the line is positive here and positive here. And we can see that anything under the x-axis is going to be negative. So it's negative here and negative here. Let's say the x-axis represents time. In this case, over time, we can see that the graph is decreasing. And so this would be decreasing here. The graph goes down, 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 comes back up, and it comes back down again. And so given this information, we know that here the graph is increasing. So here we define the key concepts. Anything positive is where the graph is above the x-axis, which means y is going to be positive. And anything negative means that y is going to be negative. And the graph is increasing when the trend is upwards and decreasing when the trend is downwards. Now we have two more concepts, which is the relative minimum and the relative maximum. The relative minimum describes a point which is locally smallest value on the graph. What does this mean? Well, this is the local minimum. The local minimum describes the point in the graph where it reaches a minimum value taking into consideration the points around it. So this is the smallest value given the points around it generally. And we also have the local maximum or relative maximum at this point right here as no other nearby points have a value as high as this value here, nearby being in this general area. So a local max you can visualize on the graph as a peak, while the minimum is more like a dip. Now let's talk about end behavior. Let's say you're a point on this graph and you're moving along it. So your point, you're moving along this way as you can see, as you move left, the graph infinitely goes upwards. And if you were a point going this way on the graph to the right, as you move to the right, the graph goes infinitely downwards. As x increases, y goes to negative infinity. And as x decreases, which means we go to the left, y goes to positive infinity. So this would be the end behavior.